Beautiful ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? I am your host, JLW, and thank you all so much for joining me. Today, we are taking on Stray Gods, the role-playing musical. Now, usually, this is the point where I pull up the Steam page or the Itch page, and I tell you a little bit about what we're playing. Stray Gods, the role-playing musical. I think that tells us everything we need to know. So I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna hop right in. Thank you all so much for being here. Without further ado, let's dive into Stray Gods, the role-playing musical. It's a rock and roll musical, act one, I'm so excited. As you all know, I like to sing along. I hope they provide the- Four hours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma. And where did it get us? Other than bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there. If they'd show up. Well, they showed up all right. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning? Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this one better. Oh, cool. I have a choice. So that started off on a real strong note. Uh, it couldn't be better. Maybe we should try... Well, uh... I guess let's make this interesting. Uh... Hey, we should consider that. We could be the Naked Band, coming soon to a really private auditorium near you. You know, somehow I believe you'd actually do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a hard no. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Well, I'm sure they get along just hey, fine. Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose ends since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> Man, she looks a whole lot like somebody I know. Uh, you're the best. I'm okay. It's frustrating. I know you meant well. You're the... Wait, why is there a heart around that? Sure, let's click the heart. You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <clears throat> Right. I just wish it wasn't always so one-sided. Hey, hey, don't, don't worry about that. Really, Grace, you'll get through this. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All, all of this was your idea. I just, I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. I mean, they've already got four members. Do they really need a, a fifth? What are they missing? You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. What are they missing that they had to interview somebody who played saxophone? What the heck allowed that individual to get up on stage? Like a boat, lost at sea, with no say. Not a breeze I am drifting cold waters No star to be seen A plus, way better than that saxophone, I know that much Way better than that saxophone the world oh. too much or is it just me? Everything I set upon unravels at my feet Everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free Like a boat lost at sea With no sails breeze I am drifting cold waters no star 
Oh, uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt, I just... I heard you from outside. My name's Calliope. You... You have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> Yes, I am. Uh, everyone else is gone. It, it, it's gonna be just me. Uh, I don't know if I can make this unilateral decision, but sure, you seem like you're gonna be awesome, so... Well, I'm afraid it's just me, Calliope. The rest of the band already left, so... Well, I don't mind if you don't. Man, <laughs> she looks like somebody I know. All right, well... With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue. Grief from all the promises, too many dreams unsung. All the steps I didn't take and paths proved untrue. Is there any path through? Like a boat. At sea. Though I'm about to With no six, you dream. still have your life ahead. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. your trait charming kick ass clever look i gotta go with my favorite powerpuff girl it, i i just there's no way around it. it it's gotta be kick ass in your face this grace is very punk rock and not afraid to get reckless and aggressive when it's called for or charming this is grace with soul and charisma she tries to do the right thing and everyone likes her more for it i also like buttercup Sometimes you need to think your way out of a problem, right? This grace is sneakier, smarter, and witty. Kick ass! Gotta go punk. Sorry. Yeah, it just looked the most badass. Probably the name kick ass lent to the badass. Whatever. Who's playing piano? Maybe if I paddle hard enough, I'll fight the waves, try to be tough. Can I belong to the sea? What was that? Your song was just so wonderful. I had to finish it with you. I hope that's all right. I also know what it feels like to be lost. To feel as if you have no place to turn. That's why I had to come inside. Um... Uh... I can't ask the smart question. I guess I wasn't uh, smart enough to ask the smart question, so I'll ask the... It's really weird. I feel like... Have we met before? I don't think so, but artists often find me familiar. What does that mean? It means I've traveled in many circles. <laughs> May I ask you why you feel so adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is just beginning. Hmm. Would she completely open up in this moment to a random stranger, even if she feels like she knows this stranger? Or would she be a little bit more closed off? I think, based off what we've done so far with her being a kick-ass, she would be a jokester about it. You sound like my guidance counselor. <laughs> then I should apologize. No, no, it's fine. There's just only so many times someone can ask what's wrong with you before you start to think there's really something wrong with you. But what does she know? 
If only she could see me now, right? I think she'd see what I see. I should go. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Right. See you then. Well, already off to a really strong start. I'm loving this. I love that we just get to sit back. I should get some popcorn. You should have some popcorn. Turn off your lights, turn off the speakers, get that popcorn. And we should just be watching right now. I don't feel like I have to do much. Let the story unfold. your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... Calliope? I didn't know where else to... I'm so sorry, Grace. Oh, boy. Oh, God. You're hurt. I'll get help. No. No. You have to wait. You can't go. I didn't want to do this to you. I... Not like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Please. Please, come on. Well, that went to a thousand real quick. What? What is that? Don't let that go in your chest! Pretty light. Pretty eyes. Not so pretty hands. Also, there's a dead body in your apartment. Probably should call somebody. Oh, um, I can wait. Take your time. I... Who... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or our door, maybe? I, um... I came as soon as I could. Okay. Uh... Let's start with the obvious. Uh, uh, hold on. Who are you? How did you get here? Through the door? I mean, jeez, how did you get here? No, that's not what we meant, and you knew that. <sighs> she really is dead, huh? Man. So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. Sucks, but, you know. Yeah. Gonna go with the punk-ass, badass, kick-ass that we are. Nice. You're gonna tell me what's going on right now! Whoa. Who are you? How did you get here? What is happening? All right, all right, jeez. Let me go. Badass, definitely like, the way I to go. I see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Cool. Let's go. No, oh, pretty self-explanatory. Answered our questions, let's go. It seems fair. Hold up our part of the bargain. Love the art style. Really, really drawn well. Love, love, love the design here. Uh, uh, where are we? Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. 
Okay. Sorry. Wait, come back. Kind of a badass, so I'm definitely gonna okay. touch stuff. Yeah, I'll just wait here and uh, not touch anything. That's touching. That technically is considered touching, but I said we were gonna touch stuff anyway. Go ahead and be the badass that we made you. His entrance. Our beloved sister, the last of the Muses, has passed on to you, our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. My, my, you have had quite the day, haven't you? Uh, let's start with, again, who is you? Someone who you be? in my arms. Where is this? How did I get here? Who are you people? Oh, so many questions. This is my office, and I expect you arrived through one of Hermes's portals. Makes sense so the far. shiny doorway. <laughs> As for who we are, well, that does require some explanation, I agree. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. A lot of questions. Um, first off, what? Gods aren't real. They can't be, they're just- Stories, myths, legends. If you're real, you'd be all powerful. You wouldn't be hiding or- mm. Don't pay much attention to those old tales about us, Grace. They weren't very true to begin with, and, well, truth be told, we've diminished since those days. That doesn't mean we're helpless, of course. Far from it. Yet, at the end of the day, we two are just people trying to get by. Also seemingly immortal, unless you get stabbed in the stomach. I found their weakness, and you live here. Right, and you live here, not in some city in Europe or a... On top of a mountain? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now, fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we move with the times, Grace. We have to, if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. Okay, let's go with defiance. Denial. <laughs> you expect me to believe that gods, sorry, idols, have been living among us for what, thousands of years? You're thousands of years old. Oh no, no, I'm not trying to make you believe anything, not at all. If you'd like to believe this office is right outside your front door, or that we are, <laughs> I don't know, actors, religious fanatics, by all means. The only thing I do need you to grasp is that you are here. This is real, and like it or not, it is happening. Right, why is my man's shirt open? He, he couldn't be prepared for this meet because it's his first time beating a new idol and he had to come with his shirt open. Also, Aphrodite, I think it's Aphrodite, right? Has a really badass dress in the back. It looks like the night sky, I love that. Uh, something about being a god now, what's, what's that? Wait, you said, and Hermes said, I'm a god now too, and an idol. 
That is true. That... That thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon. The part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol. Which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason you're here, Grace, the reason why we made you wait so long while we debated, is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper. <laughs> Never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. Whoa! Uh, also, still a punk, punk rock badass here. Uh, uh, I don't know. That feels like a really strong response, and they're gods, and there's four of them, so I'm counting the owl. It's... I didn't what? kill her. I didn't murder Calliope. She was already hurt when she banged on my door. So you say? I just met Calliope last night. Why would I kill her? Why would you even think that? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. Nail polish. <laughs> Isn't... Catch up. Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we, we should... should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end. Yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done for Calliope's sake. But this isn't justice. Pretty eyes again. Also, should the God of Prophecy know that that's not what happened? from this reality I'm not hiding though I'm a little lost here if you are lost little girl this bears explanation dear child please listen you have usurped a muse No recourse to be arranged, but it's unfair. I know, but our laws cannot be changed. But she came to me. You must realize there are simple rules. If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she. You must know. Us. I didn't do it. Is it weird this isn't song? No. That the muse is gone. No, she's gone. I'm afraid you'll have to see. You'll have to see the chorus is in a chord. Justice won't be ignored. I disagree. Song's over. Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I, I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? <sighs> and what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? Uh, I don't know, but is it anybody else that thinks that looks like a super buffed up Troy Baker? Also, the voice kind of matches the Troy Baker. I'm just saying, what were we doing here? We need to find the truth. Let me prove myself. I want to trial. No, no, no trial. Let's just prove ourselves. I can prove myself. Uh, if you let me. I can try. Shouldn't the God of Prophecy again be able to do this? Just look into the future. It wasn't us. We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. 
And there we have it. Y'all couldn't figure this out outside. Y'all had to come inside and almost murder me and have him stop the middle of a great song with great harmony for y'all then to go, give her a fair trial. That's fine. Y'all look at it and go all badass on y'all. Uh, how do I, uh, you know. Wait, wait. I I'm gonna get some help with this, right? Some direction? You say Calliope chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, well, our original verdict stands. So, um, let's start with the real killer. Can someone explain to me just how I'm supposed to find the truth? I'm not a detective. I don't know anything about the idols. Well, that's for you to figure out. I knew you were going to say that. How did I know you were going to say that? We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities that cannot help you. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer. If they exist. Oh, that's all? Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Oh, thank God. I've been staring at them the entire time. But Calliope, as we know, actually did choose Grace. So did Calliope know that she was going to die? Or is there a time when idols are just like, okay, I'm tired of being an idol. I'm going to pass on my soul to another person. There's a reason she went and found Grace. Grace's apartment, huh? Time to head home. Okay, I can do that. Let's walk. Love, I almost forgot that this was a musical until they broke out in a song and I was like, what the hell is happening? Grace? Grace? Uh, hi. Hi! 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for- Grace... We thought something happened to you. What? Did something happen to you? Well, I could tell you, but then I'd probably die, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you didn't find a uh, I'm gonna follow the rules for, uh, uh, this isn't exactly breaking any of the rules. I'm just asking a question. Oh, that, that question could lead to some, some more questions that I don't want to answer, though. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to die here. Um, yeah, kidnapped by aliens. Well, if you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. Big, scary aliens. <laughs> You were gone all night. Why didn't you answer your phone? I was calling and calling. This wasn't some hookup, was it? Because, you know, you can say it's none of your business, Freddy. Um. It definitely not a hookup. Uh. It was definitely not a hookup. I'm allowed to say that much, I think. Allowed to say. Like you're a secret spy. Have you been a secret spy this whole time? Because if you have, that's pretty cool. Hi there. Uh, uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? I'm just glad you could see him. Honestly, I thought I was going to be the only one. So, um, good question. Let's find out. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns. Because I allow you to see the horns. That's crazy, right? Yeah. As for who I am, I have been known most often as Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. Pan, of the Greek gods, Pan, right? But he's some kind of cosplayer? <laughs> the days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but I assure you, I am the real article. I've come to offer our newest idol a helping hand. Or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? I'm confused. So, 
they're allowed to reveal themselves. I'm just not allowed to reveal, or maybe they said I'm not allowed to reveal them to, I thought they said all mortals and mortal authorities, or did they just say mortal authorities? Either way, I'm already, y'all already breaking the rules. Y'all already confusing me here. Uh, can we talk? Yeah, can, can I talk and not be like murdered? So we can just talk about this in front of Freddy. Haven't you? Darling, and here I drop my glamour and everything. It's just, I was told we're not supposed to. Talk about it, that is. Talk about what? Grace, tell me. The prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? She can be trusted, can't she? Why do I have the feeling that I'm going to regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz? Oh, I can guarantee it. Uh, okay, Freddy. Have a seat. Let's talk. Great voice, my man Pan. Also, what did he mean that she's not the mortal world? Like, is he just being sarcastic, or is there something we don't know about our good friend huh. here? That's it? Huh? I guess. Do you believe in this, Grace? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at the guy with the horns. Uh, guy with the horns. You know, I'm taking it one slow breath at a time. It's been a long night. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. You sound skeptical. Do you need to go pull on my man Pan's horns real quick? See if those are really attached? Oh, you know what to do. What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? You sat next to me at lunch period, dummy. <gasps> oh yeah, right. My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. Such darling camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye, it truly does. Speaking of killers. Whoa, 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 you wound me, dear lady. I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. There's a lot. There's a lot going on there. Uh, what's in it for you? So you're here purely for my sake, then? Like a charity case? My dear sweet girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Idol. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. Doesn't sound too charitable to me. Ah, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. Pay them no mind. I didn't even know that was what Pan was. I thought Pan was like the little half goat man in the woods that danced around with like a flute or whatever. Not a flute. What do you call those things that you blow into a lute or something like that? I don't know. Uh. Seems rather convenient you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me, if you must know. Very useful, those little birds. He's not going to tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. Also, he said little bird, I have a feeling it's the owl. The owl with the blue eyes, they kept staring at us. They're going to transform into somebody. I don't know who, but somebody's definitely going to be transformed into. How do I know you're not the killer? You know, you could be the killer. For all I know. Hmm, come to mislead you, perhaps. How fiendishly clever of me. Well called, darling. And maybe even true. Poor, poor Pan! To be eternally maligned and mistrusted. Alas, and alas, and alas. <laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to offer you advice, Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. Okay. I still don't trust you. Nobody does anything for free. <laughs> now, 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 now. Who said I was doing anything for free? Ugh, here we go. I have not, however, asked for anything. As of yet. Well, it seems dumb to get the advice without knowing what the cost of the advice is going to be. We should not do this, but I only have one option, so. Okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers? 
music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. Oh, that sounds pretty damn cool. When I was talking to Athena and the others, they all started singing. Does that mean <laughs> that was me? Let me guess. Music swelled as if from nowhere. Lips quivered, souls were laid bare. Uh, yeah, I guess. And yeah, that was you. <laughs> okay, but how does that help me find Calliope's murderer? Allow me to expedite the process of understanding. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel... Powerful. Ooh. Grace, you know that you're lost now. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. This is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? <laughs> Why not? Time's a waste. Roll it! I want to hear some music. night I've ever had and you say I have powers how could this possibly turn out bad am I doing it now Brilliant. I don't follow girl. are those really actual don't horns control. and this singing is so hard to swallow <laughs> I know. can you hear me Grace what's going it's on song. so sorry you had to be here for this I'm in the dark too as you're hearing this Like I know that I'm in full control Cause the words and the tunes I feel here in my soul If this is a power, I'm not overthinking it if this was a drink, I'd be drinking it But someone is dead and I'm losing my head Like the goat said This is my time, time to shine This is my time Time to shine. Grace, nothing makes sense here. And won't the carpet be covered in fleece? And you said someone died here. Shouldn't we then just call the police? I don't know! Freddy, this map is uncharted. Let's hear him out. I know how you feel with me. I'm just getting started. I wish you could feel this. It's kind of unreal. Have you gone delirious? Stranger danger could not be more serious. You've been hurt before by mysterious men. I won't let you get hurt again. Grace, I'm worried that this guy has got to you. Don't think Teddy is ready to let go of you. What? There's so much easier to explain, but all I want is to sing it again. It's my time, time to shine. It's my choice, right? Ooh. So yeah, this is all you. Grace, be careful. I never knew I had that in me. Who's making this happen? This isn't a game. You don't understand. This has all gotten out of hand. Nothing for Grace will ever
to break it to you, Pan, but I'm not abandoning my best friend. Nice try. That? That's your choice. Humdrum mortality? How about trusting in those who love her instead of those who want to use her? Oh my. Such drama. No matter how you employ it, Grace, this is the power of a muse. Drawing out that which lies within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in your investigation. I trust that you understand that this game is amazing. This is incredible. We're gonna play it so many ways. This is this is great. I love it. I love everything about it. Love that song. Man, they got some great talent. Cause this falls apart if you don't have great talent. And Pan, Freddy, Grace, everybody killed it. Just loved it. I can't wait to see what else we got in store. Uh But I I, I didn't have great control. Sure, but I have to admit, I didn't feel completely in control. Of course not. A song goes where a song goes, Grace. It will only go where it wishes. A muse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. Look, Creepo. Grace already told you to take a hike. So she did. Allow me to get to the point, then. For all your powers, you still need a place to begin your search. And this I can provide. An address. In the city. Where Calliope was staying, I do believe. Uh, I'm not gonna ask that question, because what's in it for him? Thank you. Sounds a little submissive for our punk rock badass. That sounds Not like Calliope's the, address? That sounds like you right answer. Started with that. And miss all the dancing? Nonsense. A man paying me think alike. This I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. I don't think I have a choice. That's perfect. We can look for clues there. What this Calliope was doing, who her enemies were. I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose. No? I'll just make them sing the knife away. Uh, they don't need her help. I need your help, Pan. I'm not worried. Let's go punk rock. We haven't done this in a while. No worries. I got this. Oh? Whatever my magical song powers can't handle, I'm sure a boot to the head will. <laughs> I see. I need to find Kaz and Brian. Just tell them you're okay. If uh, not the other stuff. Then I guess I'll go check this place out on my own. What? So glad that's settled. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta. Uh, why can't you text from the car or the walk? Why, why do you have to do that here? I chose you. Now you should come with me. Don't make me go alone. There's a killer on the loose. You know, just hear Pan. Man, I listened to that song again. That was just badass. Decide to stick with your bestie, not a lost girl. Okay, well, let's go to the music hideaway then. Got a week to do these things. Just, I, I can't believe we found this game. For the price, too. It's, wow, so far, really, really good. Oh, a plus. It's open. That's not a good sign. Oh, she lived nice. Then again, she is thousands of years old, so I imagine she had some time to get this some money. This is Calliope's apartment? I don't know what I was expecting, but... Not this. Um, hello? Oh, sure, Grace, good job. Just announce to the killer that you're here. I better have a look around. Why would the killer be here, though? Because clearly, she made it all the way to our apartment, so she didn't get stabbed here and then go all the way to the apartment. I don't think, anyway. There's a lot of things to look at. Let's start with the, the top. Start from the top. Damn, look at that. That's beautiful. How do you even get one of these? Okay, not much there. Light. Let's take that next. This is a nice apartment. After Calliope left the audition, where did she go? Did she follow me? Did she come here? Okay, painting. Did she paint that? Looks like it belongs in a museum. Well, she is the last muse, so... That's the reason that she'd be a great artist. Of all art. I'm a little... Interested... In... Andy Warhol, yeah, that makes sense. I wonder how many celebrities she knew. 
the fact is Calliope a real goddess because I don't remember that name and maybe I just don't know all the goddesses but is Calliope a real muse a real idol a real god or did they just make that up for the game right these aren't do I inherit these as the new muse is that even okay to ask I mean you've got her soul inside of you I think that's about as much personal personal stuff you can take so might as well take the drum set too I don't believe this is just an ironic photo of Elvis and she wasn't like his muse or Oh she wasn't. Harp. A giant harp. Of course there's a giant harp. So she played literally everything. Where's the DJ machine though? I imagine this 21st century that she would 100 percent also be a fan of uh DJ equipment. Or just electronic equipment in general. So many instruments in here. Did she play all of them? All right, going upstairs. That was everything. We learned a lot about Miss Calliope. There's anything useful down here? Maybe there's something upstairs. Oh man, keep it together, Grace. It's just your average every day. <laughs> There were only three muses, you know, not nine. Whenever they found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form, they'd pass on an idol on, take a new name. You see, that's how the mortals became confused. They got it wrong. Like they got almost everything about us wrong. So you could pass it on with that without dying is what you're saying? You're Apollo, right? God of prophecy? One of the chorus. Sometimes I am, yes. What does that mean? It means... <laughs> it means sometimes I just feel like an old man who's lost too many friends. If I may ask, how did you find this place? And what are you doing here? We could tell the truth. You're not just here to grieve. That's the chill. That's the wise. I don't have an anger. I'm just going to go with Pam told me about it because he's the only one that fought for us anyway. So why not trust him? Pam told me about it. I was hoping I could find something, some clue about what happened. Y you've already met Pam? How odd. Well, at least he lifted a finger to help me. For his own gain, maybe, but it's better than nothing. I honestly wish I could help you, Grace. You and Calliope both deserve better. Okay, well, let's start with some questions then. Uh... Can you tell me about Calliope? I barely knew her, but she seemed... She was a beautiful soul, if troubled. Troubled? Uh, she thought the idols had lost their way. She argued with us, with all of us. Had... We needed to change. I hadn't spoken in years. I hadn't seen her home before today. I am. Um, I'd rather not talk about it. Seems like they were very close. Maybe brother sister type relationship. I should thank you for, you know, speaking up for me. It. It wasn't right. What they were doing. It still isn't. I still need help. I'm not disputing that, Grace. I just don't think that I'm the one to help you. If anybody, the God of Prophecy would probably be the best person to help you. I don't even need a specific prophecy, just some kind of prophecy. Um. Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no specific rule against it. Did he? It's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I do! You have to know more than me about almost everything! My help will only make things worse. How is that possible? I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. Okay. How do I know you're not- Oh, yeah, let's go badass. Oh, yeah, straight So you won't answer my questions. You're sitting here in the dark. You say you're mourning Calliope. What are you insinuating? 
I don't know you. For all I know, you could be the killer. You came to get rid of evidence, maybe, or, or you knew I was coming and you're here to throw me off. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Is it? The only thing you've said is that I don't want your help, but that's ridiculous? Yeah, let's piss off the God of Prophecy, why not? I can't do this. Oh man, I love that there's just multiple dialogue options and it seems like there's just a lot of different ways this story can go. But our story is our path. I don't have anywhere else to go. Meaning? Meaning, I'm not leaving until you give me something. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't literally life or death. But I need to know what the problem is. Oh, those pretty eyes are back out there. I, I haven't sung in centuries. According to Pan, I can't force anyone to do anything. When did he say that? Did I miss that in the song? Phantom pains from a missing friend Feeding thoughts, thoughts that never end What did I do? What didn't I do? Here she is, only in your head Long gone fights, but they're never dead What did I do? What didn't I do? Calliope, what was she to you? Years, thousands of years We walked side by side She tried, said there's other paths Don't walk the same Never the same I have roads I like Smooth, paved in stone She got tired of our divide We weren't the same Never the same Can't erase, but 
that you can make a tiny space for what you will do. Something new. That was okay. That was all right. That was pretty good. Uh, well, I'll help. Though I'm uncertain what you expect me to do. Athena called you the god of prophecy, didn't she? Isn't that telling the future? <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need, Grace. Mm, that sounds like it's a bad ending. Grace, have you gone delirious? Stranger danger could not be more serious. You've been hurt before by mysterious men. I won't let you get hurt again. Grace, I'm worried that this guy has got to you. I don't think Freddy is ready to let go of you. What? There's so much easier to explain, but all I want is to sing it again. It's my time, time to shine. <laughs> this is my time, time to shine. Okay, what are you gonna do now then? Good question. It's my choice, right? Totally. This is all you. Grace, be careful. Do 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 do